Good afternoon, William here with Sullivan Auto Trading. I'm gonna do a quick walk around on this BMW. Uh, starting from tip to tail, we'll go panel by panel. Uh, we'll go over tire condition, wheel condition, interior, exterior condition, uh, and just starting from the front. So looking at the hood, uh, all the gapping seems to be exactly the way that it should be, evenly spaced on both sides. I do not see any evidence of any paintwork. Um, often car faxes can be clean uh, when vehicles have in fact been in an accident. So I always revert back to that when I'm checking a vehicle out. Headlight housings are crystal clear on both sides. And then no, uh, no noticeable blemishes anywhere on the front of this that I can see. Uh, driver's side fender, as we look here, no dead scratches. Uh, gapping all looks clean. But this is just, uh, looks like some wax that got onto the plastic paneling. Uh, driver's side front wheel, excellent condition, no evidence of curb rash. Uh, tire depth seems to about be about four to five thirty seconds of an inch. Moving along to the driver's side door. A uh, small blemish on the bottom there. You can see uh, a small dime-sized ding uh, and some evidence of some uh, touch-up paint. A uh, good match on the touch-up paint, but uh, you still can't see it when you get up on it. Rocker panels look good. Passenger side rear door. No denser dings uh, that I can see. A small blemish right here that probably could be wet sanded off. Quarter panel, very clean, correct gapping between the rear bumper and the quarter panel. And tail lights are clean and clear. It's important on the BMWs that you always do check these tail lights. Uh, sometimes they can get condensation in them and can be very costly to repair or replace. Rear bumper looks great. A small blemish or chip right there on the hitch cover. You can barely see it, it's tiny right there. The tow hook cover is on there. And now to the passenger side quarter panel. Passenger side quarter panel looks good. No dents or scratches on this rear pillar. All the way across to the A pillar. Looks excellent. And then no blemishes or scratches anywhere here on the passenger side. Side, uh, side mirror housing looks great. No rock chips or blemishes on that. And we are back to the front. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a start on the vehicle. Uh, let you take a look at the engine compartment and then do a quick video of the inside. does have uh, both keys, both BMW keys. Very important when keys for a BMW are $700. So as you can see, it cycles through, let me shut this door. No engine lights, tire pressure lights, or anything like that. As equipment navigation. And we'll go ahead and pop the hood. Take a look at this engine compartment. Very, very clean. Strut towers are look brand new. Engine cover is spotless. You can even see some of the tags still on some of the lines. And this car underneath looks absolutely spotless and brand new. Of course, no evidence of paintwork that I can pick up anywhere. So, so far, just a, a, a great looking car. As we go around to the rear, open the driver's door. Um, the only way to describe the interior of this vehicle is immaculate. Anything else would be an understatement. This uh, interior is as new as you will find a pre-owned vehicle. No odd smells. Um, Smells very clean and neutral inside. Almost a new car scent. Go ahead and off this door. The rear seats literally look uh, like they've never been sat in. Carpets are spotless. I'll take a look at the rear. Uh, 
I always look at these when they have the seat back or magazine holders that are made of these netting. They get stretched out often in pre-owned well, vehicles. These are tight. Well, never said you can't walk, man. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll move in just a second. <laughs> and then the back uh, is immaculate. You can see the vacuum lines. Does have the factory cover. So just a spotless vehicle. There you have it. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to Kim. Thank you.